Previously on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay reshuffled the teams. Heather, in the blue team. I'm pissed off. I don't need leadership. Then, for the first time ever. Are you ready? He opened the restaurant. Let's go! For lunch. <laughs> and both kitchens successfully completed their first service. Last order, let's go. Yay! But at dinner. This is where we get stronger. Yes, yes chef. chef. Sarah sabotaged Virginia. I'm ready and wait for your call. Where's the turbo? I haven't fired it yet. She said that she's ready when I am. You want to start lying to me. You can call me a liar. And Sarah also battled Rachel for the leadership of the Red Kitchen. They're not ready yet. Chef said sauce them up. Stupid bitch. While Heather did her best to turn the blue kitchen around. A larger pan will be easier for the risotto. I totally feel like I'm the babysitter. But it was a night of bedlam. <sighs> What a thing about taste. Taste. Taste! Chef Ramsay was so frustrated. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I've had enough. I've had enough! That for the first time ever, no one from either team was safe. The blue team and the red team nominate someone that's leaving. Tom and Virginia were nominated. You happy now, Rachel? But Rachel put herself on the chopping block. I'll take her place, Chef. That's tempting. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Tom. Ultimately, it was Tom whose dream ended. Virginia survived another elimination. She can't get over Sarah's betrayal. Great, now I'm stuck with the bitch from hell. I don't like her. She's a bitch. But he, like, he called me a liar. I, didn't, I seriously you thought you said that we're on time. Sorry I made you look like a liar. You don't learn without making a mistake. I thought you were somebody different. I thought you were actually like a good person. Well, now it's just like strictly business for you and I. Like I don't even consider you a friend. At all. It's a shame you're that shallow. Grow up, for real. Get over it and get over yourself. You know what? It's hard for me because I actually have a heart. You just gotta let it go. I'm gonna be a big person about it and not act like a fucking baby who's got a load in my diaper. Oh, I'm not popular again. Bummer. Chef had some choice words for me tonight. Rachel. Chef. I think that's been your worst performance since I met you. I'll take her place, Chef, if you want me to. That's tempting. He's stung a little bit. Maybe he expects a lot out of me. Because I have, I have a lot to give. I feel bad for Rachel. I'm surprised he didn't switch. He sounded like he wanted to. I would have cried if Virginia left. Oh, man. Tom was definitely an easy choice for elimination. I think our team is strong as fuck now. We can outdo the red team, no doubt. It's just now, with seven people left, I feel closer to the grand prize Vegas. Gotta step it up. Morning. Good morning. morning. This morning, you saw Gordon standing in front of a table with different little appetizer type thingies, and I had no clue what was going on. Slightly different this morning. Sit down. Ladies, on my left. Chef Ramsay has prepared what appears to be a high quality gourmet buffet. What I want to talk about is taste. What the aspiring chefs don't know is that all of these dishes are fake. So I put together some fondue. Actually, it's spray on cheese. Pate. It's really crushed hot dogs. Caviar. Mock caviar from a catfish. I just like a meat sort of bruschetta, almost like a kebab. Yeah, those are from a TV dinner. We don't deserve to be eating caviar this time of morning. However, just taste. 
After such a horrible night of service, Chef's presenting me with caviar. Mmm. Every time you put something in your mouth, you've got to know what you're eating. Who's tasted the fondue? I have. It's nice and thick, coats your mouth nicely, sharp, creamy. Heather, what do you think about the chicken and the pineapple? I think they tasted really good. Keith. Yes, Chef. Favorite dish? I like the pate, Chef. Good, didn't you? I like the caviar. The stuff I've eaten before tastes like fishy, stinky. That is just amazing. Originally, I tasted the caviar just by itself, and I wasn't really that uh, fond of it. But once you get everything on there, yep, it just comes together. Uh -huh. I don't think any of you around the table this morning have any idea what you've been eating. Scott, please. Don't be upset with me. You've got every right to be upset with yourselves. So, the fondue was a spray cheese. The kebabs, bruschetta, was a TV dinner. My pate was made out of crushed hot dog. And this bit here, we have a catfish, the mock fake caviar. They give it away, you can't even buy it. Here, you want to kill yourself? Take some fake caviar. <laughs> no, 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 hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I was taking it seriously, and then, and then he's like, ha ha, it was catfish, hot dogs, cheese in a can, and a TV dinner, ha ha. It's embarrassing. Keith. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> The pate tastes good, it's made out of hot dogs, hot dogs are slamming. Now I know where we are. You all have palates like cow's backsides, and we have got some work to do. Your next challenge, taste test. Rachel, in order to make the teams even, Sit out on this one. Mirabelle and Keith, you're first. Ready? Yes, Chef. The red team have been getting into, like, little conflicts. It was really important for us to win today as a group. Let's go. OK, the team with the most accurate palette wins the challenge. The losing team, you're going to be responsible for getting that kitchen absolutely spotless. All that stuff sat out overnight. Get back in your fucking dorms and don't even touch another thing in this kitchen. And, uh... I didn't want to clean up that BS. So concentrate, get serious, and get tasty. A member from each team will go head to head, trying to identify four different items per round. Keith, you sack of shit, can you hear me? Good. First dish, very simple, ball potato. <laughs> what is that? Potato. OK, boy, what is that? Potato. Next, seared tuna. Open. <laughs> <laughs> Open. <laughs> what do you think it is? Like poached salmon? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wrong. Tuna. Well done. Thank you, sir. OK. Oregano. Neither Maribel nor Keith can identify the oregano. Pear chutney. You've been cooking with this for weeks. Spicy mango. Uh, Spicy mango. Tastes like that, uh, that chutney we make for the uh, quail. Well done. I killed it. I made it yesterday. So I knew exactly what that was. Round two. Two to the blue team, two to the red team, yeah? Next, Virginia, the salad chef, takes on Heather, the sous chef. Tough on this one. See you, Chin. B matchup against Heather is definitely a chance to prove myself. I just pray for me to be able to work with my palate and connect it to my brain and really focus. Fish stock. Fish stock. Turbo. Wrong. See you, Chin. Here we go with chicken. Chicken. Chicken, chef. Hot dog. Mm. Hot dog. Tastes like hot dog, chef. Last one. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Yes. Parmesan. Parmesan Reggiano. Uh. Wrong. Swiss cheese. Heather was so sure that she was going to win the taste test because she thinks she's the teacher's pet. But, uh, eh. 
Virginia's near-perfect performance gives the red team a one-point lead. Now it comes down to the final pair, deli manager Sarah and Garrett, the prison cook. I hate to say this, Garrett, but it comes down to you now. Four for four, chef. Yeah, yeah. I'm not concerned about going head to head with anybody here at Hell's Kitchen, you know. Put me in a blind taste test against Gordon and I'd be all right. Scrambled eggs. Open wide. Mm. Scrambled egg, chef. Scrambled egg. I'm a super taster. Like, I taste everything. I ate dirt as a kid. Challenge me. Fresh spinach. Up. Spinach, chef. Yes. Spinach. We have some fresh kiwi. There you go. Mm. Get it in there. Pear, chef. Oh, fucking shit. With only two items left and the red team ahead by one, Sarah can secure the win for her team if she can correctly identify the kiwi. Plum? Uh, wrong. Kiwi. This is very close. With the blue team trailing by one, Garrett must identify the final item to avoid losing. It all comes down to this braised short rib. Turkey chef. It was short rib. You're the turkey. You think a guy from Texas could identify some short rib? The winners of the red team. Well done. Virginia? Yes, chef. You got the high score. Thank Three out of four. Very well done. Thank you. Virginia did the best. Whoop de freaking do. She guessed Swiss cheese, hot dog, and she guessed some other stupid thing that was easy to get. Okay, losers. I think it's pretty obvious you know what you're going to be doing. I want the kitchen absolutely spotless. Ladies, we're going on an exclusive photo shoot for TV Guide. Yeah! Hope we get changed, get the makeup on, because the limo's waiting. The taste of success is sweet. It's good that we won, because we've had some personality conflicts, and we need to regroup ourselves as a team. Yay! Hey. Woohoo! My, my. Oh, that. Yeah. Nice. 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 Excellent. There we are. Socks. The punishment for this was the worst one yet. Everything was caked on, cooked on, burnt on, stuck. Disgusting. You guys did the blue kitchen, I'll do the entire red kitchen, all right? It does suck that I didn't get to go today, because, you know, I'm one of the girls, you know? And it's supposed to be a girl against guy thing, and it's not anymore. Nice, girls. Look at that. Hey, guys, how you doing? Welcome to the studio. We got some lovely hair and makeup. I'm so excited. Like, wow, party. Cheers. 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 Here's the boot team. Oh, poor Heather. Ouch. Hey, Heather, doesn't this remind you of Cinderella? I used to have to do this every day in the joint. Hey, I need a volunteer for something. Come on. Garrett, let's go. Uh, the chef needs some champagne down at the photo shoot right now. Go, go, come on. Come on, Garrett, they're waiting for you. Is there this carbohydrate free and calorie yes. free? Yes. OK, I'll take it. It's like I never, ever, 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 never, ever imagined anything like this in life. We felt dressed up, we felt pretty, we felt like women. It was such a positive vibe. It, I mean, it, it just makes Hell's Kitchen so worth it. Champagne? Champagne, please? More? Oh, hey, loser. Hey, 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 hey. What? What's wrong? Hey, your cuticles look a Come little here. dirty. Garrett, he was all sweaty and greasy, and you could tell he was totally jealous. Do you want your toenails painted? That would be nice. They were getting the star treatment. Just looked like a lot of fun. Goodbye, happy cleaning, and you stink. Come on, I do get stink. Out. Yeah, you, you do stink. Blue team's having a hard time keeping up with the ladies in the red. Oh my god, I'm going to be a TV guy. Right there. All right, here we go. Great, guys. <laughs> I totally blew gas during the uh, photo shoot. Oh my god, you did not. I lifted a leg and let it go. That is gross. 
there's a lot that goes into being a leader, and I think part of that is setting an example of who you are and how you act the whole time, not just in the kitchen. <laughs> that was crap. Maria. Delivering champagne to Gordon and the red team. You were yeah. not. They were like, hey, loser. Sarah was sitting there getting a pedicure. I mean, I wish I was there. You know, I like pedicure. Anything's better than this dishwashing. We just don't lose ever again. Although the red team had a rewarding day away from Hell's Kitchen, it doesn't take long for some to feel the pressure of the competition again. I miss my daughter and my husband a lot. The, the loneliness and, and the stress and thinking about the backstabbing and everything else, it's hard. What I have to focus on, having my biggest dream fulfilled, but it's hard, not easy. I miss my family. However, for others, friendships have crossed enemy lines. Going on the other side, I didn't want become the enemy, you know? So y'all plan on kicking our ass to where we have to lose some people. Everyone's gonna have gone on one point, sweetheart. I think you know this. <laughs> <laughs> the nature of Heather and Rachel's relationship is kind of unprofessional. Rachel's making eyes with Heather, and Heather's making eyes with Rachel. We're not here to make friends. We're here to earn a serious, serious, serious job. Give me a break. Sarah and I have been in competition pretty much since we got here. There's a whole power struggle going on right now. I don't need a loose cannon in the kitchen. Wee, 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 wee. I think it's funny just cutting up and I think it's smart. funny, I just think you're a bitch. In my kitchen, if you don't do it the way I want it, you're gone. Oh, this is nothing compared to what it's gonna be like. I could have just beat her ass. As preparation for dinner service begins, each team is determined to impress Chef Ramsay. Okay, guys, let's go, man. Clock is ticking. We still got tons of shit to do. And you have three people, and they have four. And that makes me nervous. I've been nominated twice to be eliminated. It's so crucial for me not just screw up. Otherwise, I will definitely be going home. Everybody breathe. Everybody talk tonight, right? Yep. And I will make or break the leader of the team. And whether that's Sarah or whether that's me remains to be seen. Three sides to one order, right? Yes, ma'am. Rachel, you know, her and I were like the yin and the yang. I have a more passive versus aggressive role that I play in a kitchen. Red team's in trouble. Don't jinx yourself. Ain't no jinx. That's confidence. That's right. One of the girls is going home tonight. Igris is going to kill at this service. He's going to fly around the kitchen like a maniac, pumping out money food. The heart. The restaurant is about to open, and Chef Ramsay is hell-bent on no one leaving Hell's Kitchen hungry. Any minute now, we're going to be opening Hell's Kitchen again, yes? And we still haven't completed a service. Tonight has to be the night, yes? Yes, yes Chef! Yes. Hell's Kitchen is now open. Let's go. Tonight. Hell's Kitchen has opened its doors for the fifth time. So we have a nice special starter tonight. It's a breaded deep-fried oyster. As service begins, the chefs are eager to get started. Remember when he orders the first ticket, don't start doing it until he says away. Yes. Some a little too eager. I haven't called anything away. Why are you cooking spaghetti it ahead? It spaghetti. takes six minutes. Six minutes. Right now, if you want to start cooking spaghetti, I'll take off your apron, yeah, and fuck off back home. Do you want to go? No, chef. Why don't you just get it in a box and vinaigrette it and no, yeah, chef. have a pickup or something? You know, like a drive-thru. That's what we're going to be called, your restaurant. No, have chef. this drive-thru. No. It's really hard being pumped all day and then get yelled at in five minutes. Don't touch me, please. He just wants to see if you'll bounce yeah, no. back. I'm serious. OK. Please. Come on, work with me, not against me. I don't want a four covers table 31. And boy, are we going to start this one off. The minute we're silent in this kitchen tonight, you're in deep trouble. Yes, chef. Thank you. Let's go. Time, five minutes. Just keep talking to me, even though we know. On order, two covers table 25. Appetizer, one oyster special, one quail. Entree, one duck, one turbot. Yes, chef. Still no answer from Garrett and no answer yes, from chef. Heather. Yes, chef. Pathetic. We haven't sent anything out of this kitchen, and already I'm feeling somewhat nervous. So move your ass, yes? Yes, chef. 
How long, please, Mirabel? Three minutes, sir, for Chef. Rachel, you're on fire. The duck is burned. Yes, Chef. Is this the sign of what's to come? No, Chef. This is not the sign of what's to come. Oh, my God. Oh, Glenn. No way. Heather! Oh, fucking hell. Now, taste it. No, don't you dare take it off that fucking stove until you taste it. It's solid, horrible, bitty. Mine was a little <clears throat> crunchy, Chef. A little crunchy? Yes. <clears throat> Start again, will you please, yeah? While Heather continues to struggle with appetizers in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is ready to give the red team some polite words of encouragement. Please, 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 please move your asses! It may be a coincidence, but Chef Ramsay's motivational pep talk seems to be paying off, and appetizers are coming out of the red kitchen. After the three oysters on the board, I have two left. OK, don't overcook any, yes? Yes, Chef. Thank you for communicating. Thank you, Chef. That's the first time in Hell's Kitchen someone's actually given me some positive feedback. Thank you, Chef. As Virginia savors her first compliment in Hell's Kitchen, Keith is running the blue kitchen. Yes. How long for that oyster special? Two minutes, Chef. Thank you, Keith. You got it, Chef. You hear that? Go right on that quail, right? Yeah. Work the next one and cut that one and go right on I it. I got you, baby. Service, please. Table 23 pickup. Just as appetizers are leaving the blue kitchen. Yeah. Oh, come on. An appetizer is returning to the red kitchen. Oh, ladies. No, no, no. Yes, chef. On the hot plate. What's on the foie gras? Oh. It's a black hair, chef. Oh, I don't give a fuck what color it is. It just come back. Yes, chef. Who's got black hair in the kitchen? I do. My hair is tied up. That's straight. I have curly hair. Oh, Thank you very fuck much. Oh, curly hair. It probably was Jean Philippe. Why not ask him? Make him put a hair in it. Excuse me. Do you think that's what we do to customers? No, no, chef. Never that. Never. No, chef. After failing to impress Chef Ramsay with her appetizers, Heather's looking to redeem herself by helping Garrett with his meat. Which one's ready? I've got it. Trust me. No, skin side down. No, 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 no. Way too much pepper. He'll kill you. Heather came over there and tried to start taking things over. All that did was get me off track and get me off pace. Put it on, put it on. Give it to me, give it to me. If I had a dime for every time I heard that. How long? Come on, you. Come on, come on, come on. Here, Maribel. Here we go. Service, please. Oh, Lord, please let it be right. Please let it be right. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. please. Result is good. Excellent. Thank you, Chef. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Rachel! Yes, Chef? Come here, you. Come here. Now, nah, fuck it. All of you, come here. Right now. And eat. Eat that. Eat it. Because I'm, 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 I'm dying to understand what's going through your fucking mind. Now, what do you think of the quail? Silver cook. A little too much reduction on the sauce, Chef, and a few bones. What's your verdict? It's dry and it tastes a little burnt. Yeah, it's shit. A little burnt. Fuck me, do you need some glasses? I don't know if the customer's got any fucking glasses out there. Over there, table seven, he's got them. Yeah, and what's it for you? Overcooked. <sighs> Fuck off, will you? All right, let's do it again, guys. Come on. Give them to her. Hey, there you go. There's the gentleman's glasses. Yeah, no, I'm serious, huh? Does anyone need a pair of glasses? Fuck off, Jean Philippe. Did you really think that I was going to go out there? The quail burned to a cinder. Did you think I was going to send that? I I need to know in your mind, do you actually think I was going to serve that? It... Come here, you. Come here. What the fuck are you doing? Do you want to go home? <clears throat> no, no, you... tell me now. I will not let you down tonight. You already have. I want to pull it back. I will get you through entrees. I know damn well you can do it. I can just see it in your eyes. I, I, can, un I can identify with the hunger, but right now, Missy, there's just a blonde, I will not. empty fucking head. No, I will. Airhead. No, I won't let you down. I will get you on. Get it together. I will. Communicate. I will. Open up and start talking to me. Yes, now chef. move. Yes, chef. That man will not break me. He will. He will not break me. Two hours into dinner service, the red team will have to regroup to catch up to the blue team, who have already served half of their dining room. What's the matter, Jean Philippe? Two breaded chef. Okay. Keith. Yes, chef. Come here. Just, just, just touch that. Yeah. And touch that. Yeah. I won't. No, no. I, 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 I didn't I, send I, it like that. Yeah, I guarantee yeah, it, chef. Okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, 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 hey. 
Uh, I swear I'm to about God. to tell you something, and you're not even fucking listening. You just want to come back to me with a ch- You know what? You look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Calm fucking down, and let me finish my fucking sentence. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. The customers are complaining. There's too much breadcrumbs on there. Now, look at it and tell me what you think then, yes? Or you want to be chippy, turn you around like a fucking five-year-old. There you go. Yes, it's cold. I can see it's cold. But I think they've got a valid point. There's too many breadcrumbs on there. Yes, sir. Thank you. So don't look at me like a five-year-old and do something about it. Yeah. 45 minutes ago, you were leaving the kitchen. You've gone all quiet now. Sorry, chef. This is your time now to step up and get your team together. Yes, sir. Yeah, Those yeah. two, yeah, are cooking like donkeys. Come on. Yes. Donkey's Kitchen. Should we change the fucking logo? No, DK. No, chef. While the blue team's goal of completing a dinner service has hit a snag, oh, dear. Chef Ramsay hopes the red kitchen is back on track. Where's the Wellington? I'm getting nervous. Service, please. Rachel. Yes, Chef. Not tonight. I just, I, I, I can't take any more. I, I, I don't know where you are. I've asked for two medium. Is that medium? No, Chef, that's rare. That's rare. What's that one there? Way rare. Oh, God. I got it, Chef. Two inch. Virginia, get your perfectly salmon back. Missy. If they're not ready, why are you sending them? Because I was afraid to tell you about the correct time, Chef. That's one. After everything we've been through, you're telling me now that you're scared to tell me the truth. I'm not scared to tell you the truth. No, no, Chef. I'm nervous for you right now. I'm nervous for me too, Chef. While Rachel tries yet again to pull it together, Chef Ramsay turns to the blue kitchen to see if their meat station is under control. Is that quail on? Yes, yes Chef. Yes. Lift out the pan. Show me. Two portions of quail. How stupid does that look? You want portion short, you fucking donut. Heather's trying to make herself look good, and that just fucked me all up, and I couldn't even fire two quail. Hey, turn your big fucking beady fat eyes over there. You've got three tables left to go. That's how close you are. But right now, it's so painful. Keep it going, Gareth. Yes, sir. It's three hours into dinner service. Although the Blue Kitchen has served most of their entrees, their last few tables are growing impatient. I don't want this bread. I want freaking entree. Meanwhile, the Red Kitchen is finally gaining ground, and entrees have made their way to the dining room. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sam has cooked beautifully. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, Chef. With Virginia's fish station swimming along, Chef Ramsay is anxious to send out the final entrees on the blue side. Come on, please, the duck! Poirot! Yes, Chef. Where's the cabbage? Come on, Garrett! Go. Keith and Garrett, they just got all quiet. None of you are working as a team. Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a... This is the lamb Where's sauce. The lamb Where's the lamb sauce? sauce? Right here, Chef. I lamb sauce it. is coming up. There's just nothing coming together. Right here, Chef. Thank you very much. Not a problem, Chef. Oh, fuck off you, you fat, useless sack of fucking Yankee danky doodle shite. Fuck off, will you please, yeah? Although it's taken a toll on Chef Ramsay, the Blue Kitchen has managed to serve all of their entrees. Mm. Now, he's hoping things will go more smoothly in the Red Kitchen. Wellington, please. Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is waiting for medium Wellingtons, but Rachel has overcooked them. She's hoping, however, that painting them with a little sauce will make them appear less well done. What Rachel doesn't realize is that Chef Ramsay can tell if meat is cooked correctly simply by touching it. How's it cooked? First it was cold. Uh, come here. Rachel, come here. Yes, Chef. Yeah, just touch that. What's the lamb? It's well done. It's requested pink. That's cooked to fuck. It's barely edible. Oh, for God's sake. Rachel, this is pitiful. Rachel, you suck. Stop right there. I'm going to put you out of your misery. Switch it off. Just stop. Hello. Shut it down. Yes, sir. Although dinner service is finished, Chef Ramsay is not finished with one of the chefs. You've got that spoiled brat syndrome, that huffy puffy, turn their eyes, fold their arms, and not even look at me in the eyes. 
Oh, I didn't mean that, Chef. Deep down inside, you've got a big amount of talent there. You know that. Sure. My biggest problem is no one's nursed it properly. Has anyone ever actually told you how good you could be? No, Chef. No, you can cook, big man. You know that. The first hour and a half of this service, you're running it. When you made one stupid mistake, yeah, sir. the quicker you get rid of that attitude, you're going to shine. Yes, sir. Tonight's service was equally brutal in both kitchens. Now, Chef Ramsay faces a difficult task, choosing a winning team. My back is killing me. Any idea why? Because I've got the weight of two kitchens on my shoulders, and I'm, I'm getting tired. Far away. I think none of us on the blue side performed up to our potential tonight. I think all of us deserve to be up on the elimination block. I personally did not perform up to my potential at all, but I don't think that I should go home. Thanks for being so brutally honest. Heather raised the hands like she had guts and then said, I don't think I was the worst, but I think everybody on the blue team should be on the chopping block, which is bullshit because K I killed it. Heather was trying to weasel herself out of trouble. Red team, you were two tables short of completing your entrees. That's how close you were. And blue team, you got all your entrees out. But don't start congratulating yourself, because that was painful. And the losing team is... It's the red team. Couldn't get all your entrees out, and you had one more chef in your team than the blue team. Sorry, ladies. Not good enough. Virginia, you were that close to going home the other night. Yes, Chef. Definitely not going home tonight. It's pretty obvious. You are the best of the worst. Go back to your dorm and nominate two of your teammates for elimination. Yes, Chef. Get out. We crashed and burned again, and it was the meat station, and that was my station, and I suck. I suck. You did good tonight. Thanks. You got everything out that was supposed to go out, plus you stayed on top of all that shit. So who do you think I should pick? Sarah's not a team player like you. She was on the easiest fucking station tonight. Absolutely, I'm gonna lobby. I'm not giving up. I don't, I don't quit. She's been passive aggressive the whole time. She can't keep a trap shut. She doesn't follow the prep list that you ask her to do. I don't know, what was your experience? Did she lie to you the other night? So now you want to start lying to me. I'm not lying to you, Chef. I, she said that she's ready when I am. Fuck me. You didn't hear Turbo? Sarah screwed up the other night and didn't fess up to it. Not only did I get the blame for it, but she called me a liar to my face. Sarah? Yeah? I was thinking <clears throat> that I might choose you because and when Chef called me a liar and he didn't say anything. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I think one incident versus like a performance over the course of time. Um, you know, Rachel, two nights in a row, hasn't been a shining star in the kitchen. Honestly, Virginia, like I enjoy working with you and I think you are a strength of the strengths. I'm gonna go talk to Maribel, thank you. She's asking why I didn't stand up for her. It's not about making friends, it's about winning that prize. And we all wanna win. Especially me. If you were in my position, who would you pick? I can't, I can't, you know, I'm not the kind of, let me see. I'm not the kind of person that will put somebody up there just to save my ass. But I, I personally feel that um, I learn faster than she does. Who? I'm Rachel. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. Do what you gotta do, girlfriend. Rachel's the one that's been fucking up the whole time, not me. I haven't been sending anything. I'm burnt out. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. I know. Well, do you? Yeah. I swear to God, if I go, you better win. I don't know if everyone will miss you the most. Stop it. No, well. No, I'm, well thinking... I'm, I'm the closest to you. Everyone knows that. Are you going to cry? If you go, I will cry. My strongest bond is with Rachel. I don't think that will ever change. I love her to death. If Rachel did leave, it would only make me 
work twice as hard. I'll tell you what, you do me one favor if I go out tonight. You take Sarah down. Yes, Chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, I have. First nominee and why? Rachel, because you clearly let our team down today. Second nominee and why? I had a tough time choosing my second nominee. I wanted Sarah because the other night she uh, really let me down. I don't know if you remember, but there was a time at the beginning of the night when I was on and meets and I brought a duck up to the pass. Knowing that she said we were ready, I went up to the turbo, duck down, and she misled me saying that she was ready. And when she ducked she down, was ready with the and then you came up and said, you know, that she's not even with you. And she I said she told like me a liar, ready. and you actually called me a liar to my she face, and she never, ever stuck up for me. <laughs> However, I chose Maribel as my second choice. <laughs> so you chose Maribel after being shafted by Sarah? Maribel argued with you. I didn't like that at all. I mean, a hair is a hair, and that's disgusting, and the fact to play the bank blame game and that. Thank you. You're welcome. You didn't hold back on that one, did you? No. I agree with your decision. OK, Rachel and Maribel. Step forward, please. Rachel, how are you feeling right now? I know I should be up here because of my performance tonight. But I know I bring a maturity to the table that possibly not, not other people have. I have a capacity to learn, and I, I deserve to be up here, but I'm not ready to go home. Mirabel. Well, sir, I come from humble backgrounds, working mostly cafeteria food. I don't call myself a chef because I don't feel I'm a chef yet. I'm an aspiring chef, and I feel that I can do better. And being here has made me better. Mm -hmm. Rachel, you were struggling there tonight. I know damn well you can do it. I can just see it in your eyes. I won't let you down. Maribel, you've done something really stupid. Who's got black hair in the kitchen? I do. My hair's tied up. That's straight. I have curly hair. Oh, Thank you very fuck much. Oh, pretty, yeah. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight is Rachel. Take your jacket off. Let me just say something to you. You've busted your ass off in this kitchen. You've worked so hard, harder than anyone here. Good night. Good night. I have never, ever failed at anything I've set my mind to. It hurt, but everything has changed since I've, I've been in Hell's Kitchen. Butterfly shrimp and chocolate sauce. Very weird. Please, I'm begging. This is what we were born to do. Yeah! I don't know if everyone will miss you the most. Stop it. The, the restaurant was going to be, yeah, it's a dream. You don't quit having the dream because of one night. <laughs> now listen, the field's been cut in half. We started with 12, now there's six of you. And if any of you think this is going to get any easier, forget it. It's going to get harder. I don't think that there's one thing I'm not going to miss about Rachel. I'll have her in the back of my head always. That will drive me to the end. No one's seen anything yet. I've been up twice to be eliminated, but yesterday I did well, and tonight I did well. So hopefully I can keep improving and not be the underdog anymore. Uh, Virginia, I trust as far as I can throw her, and she's pretty heavy. She's a down low bitch. Oh, yeah. There's only two of us guys left, and that's a big hurdle to overcome, but uh, they're not going to beat me without a fight. I've got testicular fortitude. That means I got balls. Disappear. Rachel clearly couldn't handle it. She buckled, panicked, 
and actually screwed the kitchen completely. You've got no chance of running a successful business if you can't handle one section. On the next Hell's Kitchen, with only six cooks left to battle for their own restaurant at the Red Rock Resort in Las Vegas, Chef Ramsay has the chefs running for their culinary lives. Move your asses! And at dinner, it's a battle of the menus. I'm ordering from the red menu. I'm feeling blue tonight. Leading to chaos in the kitchen. I'm gonna kick you out unless you get me a bam! She's a total idiot. And a major cooking accident. There's blood everywhere. Oh, Christ. But somehow, against all odds, one team will make Hell's Kitchen history. Last order, let's go. And you won't believe who's going home. Heather. Keith. Garrett. Sarah. Mirabelle. Virginia. Next time on Hell's Kitchen.